so, in fact, that um, the recording itself that I took uh, was completely choppy and messed up. I recently uh, upgraded my hardware to a 1080 Ti, got a lot of, uh, I mean, this is, you know, this is the, the top of the line sort of machine that I'm running right now. And um, I thought I was going to be able to run this and OPS at higher settings than I did. Of course, it's behaving well now. And I spent, I want to say, the better part of two hours just tweaking my settings to try and get this to work. So I think we're good to go. But uh, let's find out. We're going to start over from the top, since none of you really got to see what happened uh, last time. And that's alright. We didn't get too terribly far. And now I know a little bit more about what we're doing anyway, so it'll be a better take too. I'll be an unintentional one. Gotta create a custom character. Wanted to spend too long on character creation, mind you. Yeah, here we go. So that's the default. That's apparently in lore what Ryder's supposed to look like. I think I'm going to go for a different appearance, just slightly. And yeah, all of these presets, beyond the default one, in Mass Effect tradition, <laughs> do not look great. Look at that. Could you imagine playing as that? I sure can. Let's see what else we got here. You? I think it randomizes the rest of the appearances around the sort of standard face that it finds, which is why a lot of these look pretty goofy and very different. No? Now, I remember he he was actually the one that I chose the last time. It's the only one that didn't look... Oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah, in these sorts of situations, I, I tend to want to customize when I'm playing for myself, but I think for the stream, just that this guy pairs up with a lot of what you guys are playing with... I think I'll probably just go with the default. It looks a little bit better than most of these. Okay. Default appearance it is. Let's go into training. I'm definitely going to be a scrapper. It's Mass Effect. It's this version of... Uh, it's uh, Andromeda's version of the Vanguard, which if you've ever played that in previous games, it's an absolute blast. Gotta go with the scrapper this time. And and yeah, why not change my gender while you're at it? Okay, so that's apparently our twin, because we've gone with the default look. Interestingly, I played a black character the first time. Still had a white twin. What the hell happened in this family? <laughs> okay. So there was a male shepherd, that's good. That's the really, I think, the only thing that you can customize about the history. You don't get to import a Mass Effect 3 save, from what I can tell. Only other Andromeda saves is what this is for. Let's go ahead and confirm. I'm going to start on Hardcore. It was pretty easy on Normal the last time. We might be able to kick things up to insanity once I learn a little bit more about the game. We'll see. Critical we export those default looks. Cue the Imperial March music. I wonder how much of the original team from Mass Effect. Every one great still moment around. in our history began with a dream. Except for those great moments that began with actually doing things. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. That's right. Ruthless to a man. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. Some to hike up their skirt and, free from, and flee from the Reapers. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Pure cowardice. Today, that was our reason. we begin to make our dream reality. Our dream of keeping our intestines inside our abdominal cavity.
the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... The Kitchen. No. No, it's Andromeda. sticker on the back saying I break for no one. I break for reapers. Yes. Thrusting deep into the womb of Andromeda. a little too soon. Looks like we have a few hundred thousand light years still left to go. Hello and welcome to Aperture Science Test Subject. Oh fuck. Put me back in cryonics. Get me out of here. This whole system right here is just a giant futuristic record player. We made it. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Scott, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean? Summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? Put all my character points into ignoring my doctor's advice. The process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. And instead we decided to go with this asteroid. <laughs> Scott Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Our first decision, do we want to be an asshole? Or do we want to be an asshole? Let's choose the lesser of two assholes. Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? Damn. He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. He's gonna get shot. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? <laughs> what kind of implants are we talking about here? Uh, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? I feel flattered. A than routine normal. check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? You stuck a computer in my tits? Yeah, apparently, uh, privacy in the future. Not a thing. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. It'd be great if the eye was Caffeine just like, lies! Did make me jumpy. All lies! You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. 
So the implant can not only transmit my location at all times, but the AI can read my emotional state all the time. And we're just not going to talk about that, are we? What's happening? <laughs> just hang on. Usual place to come in. Let's see if we can move. Try to nope. Yourself. I guess that's realistic. Uh, careful of the syringe. I'm almost inside. Hold on. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. Is she the protagonist or us? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Oh, I see what you did there. Nice shot. Cora, it's critical Ryder. we see what that Report looks like. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. If she outranks us, we're gonna be looking it's at Sarah that behind Ryder. a lot. Yeah, Sarah What's Ryder. Wrong? I don't know. Have to Getting check special it out. mention over all the other NPCs in cryostasis. Well, what were there, 20,000? It looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? I'm running a diagnostic now. Give it a second for the processor to sync. Did the seals break? No. Physical integrity. She is going to be a POV character later. Calling it now. Well, Scott. Is my sister okay? I like what they did with the Omni. -tool. Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. Low-level comas, well known for their Glad safety. To hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door. Whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. We don't. So parts of the body could be waking up. But others aren't. We can't be sure. I think they have implants too. Check it out, it's a literal wall of information. Hi there, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions Zooming now, in to detect just... breasts. Breasts not found, error. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Barchero, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. Yeah, good thinking to put all the species in different pods, that way if we lose one, that entire race is gone forever. Who planned this? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Yes, this galaxy has been this cluster in the galaxy has been selected for its abundance of waist high cover and slowly progressing difficulty of enemies. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. I'm beginning to think that it's now become impossible for Bioware to break from their formula, like, even if they wanted to. Jedi, Spectres, like, even if it doesn't make any sense, you've got to be part of a special cabal, no matter what. At present, Ark Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. 
As recon specialists, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. Yeah, everything's broken up and appears to be going to shit, so let's just get down to the planet's surface as soon as possible. Let's scan or assess anything. Yeah. We've got 20,000 people left. That's plenty. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including ARCs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the Central Support Hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is... unknown. Status of Outposts are... unknown. So things are going great, then. I'm Gian Garthman, founder of the Initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. Sheer it's cowardice. starting with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life a vision of not being consumed by space cuttlefish. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. Huh. Couldn't get the Asari Consular from the first three games, huh? Alright, that's enough. Does she have a... You need to wash your face, honey. I thought it she had a five o'clock shadow it? for a second. Right up until you lose gravity. She sounds like she's got a five o'clock shadow too. I guess the hormone replacement therapy is working. Jeez, think of the plant pranks you could pull if your friend was in stasis for six hundred years. <coughs> Wake up with a penis, why not? Easy, just take deep breaths. <clears throat> was that floating? <laughs> I had a little hiccup with the gravity. What day? What is it? It's been 600 years. We're in Andromeda. What? So far, so good. How do you feel? Like I've got the world's worst hangover. Maybe now is so not the time to tell him that we had a head-on collision with space foes as soon as we came out of war. They need you on the Pathfinder mission team. Let's get you ready to go. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Gravity. Let's start pressing buttons, see what happens. Wow. Another colonist here. Weird. Da, 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 fill the chamber with laughing gas. One minute I'm in the you saw nothing. Ready to sleep. The next. You're two million light years away. No joke. We really or flew that far? To the bridge. We really did. Welcome to Andromeda. Humanity spreads itself all over the galaxy. We end up threatened for our very existence, and these are the kind of 20,000 top people we choose to send into survival. No pancakes? No the future is a dark, dark place. Alright, I don't think there's anything else over here. See, checking out. It's totally non-linear. You can go left or right. I mean, it's double the options offered by Final Fantasy XIII. It's rare that a game will make you appreciate what you have to that extent. Attention Hyperion personnel. After a 600 year voyage, the good news is that we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We've arrived in the Helios Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority and prep its members for field reconnaissance. Reports of unusual celestial phenomenon in this cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow. Did the world just turn up? Hey there! Hell of a wake up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. He waved at us during the cutscene, so well, potential companion? No obvious contusions to your brain. Looks nice. No obvious contusions. Wait, 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 the cut's that deep? <laughs> Just kidding. Checking for a concussion. Your cognitive awareness seems okay. Ah, right. Where'd you get your degree, Doc? No need. Don't let anyone be a doctor around here. What? Good. Your auditory response seems normal, too. It's true, you get to pick your class off of a list at the beginning. Any more coffee around it? Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. I need a lot of beauty rest. I mean, look at this. Look at it! Very lost me 
I'm gonna miss Joker. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Boring. Hello, Traveler, and welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recover from stasis, know that you're in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build the new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you it will be worth it. This looks broken. What'd they tell you? Suit up and get ready to go? Same here. They tell you where we're going? No, just have the shuttles prepped to fly. That haircut is not nearly aerodynamic enough for space travel. Good to see you, Ryder. Uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got in here. What's wrong? We got a surge of power reading. Oh, dirty power. Oh. Yup, they definitely designed this ship like the Enterprise. No hey, fuses or fail safe here. mechanisms here. Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power load or it could explode. We do that by popping a squat on the lightning thing. Ryder could find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the vault. <laughs> on it. I mean, none of the engineers the have a conduit. scanner. Hey, Jesus Christ. This. I'll override the safeties. Got it. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder! Can you go reset it? Geez, gotta do everything on this ship. Yeah, that's not gonna change. There! It's reset! Do it. We're routing the current now! We're in recovery! It's working! Readings are in the green! Thank God. Could have been the end of everyone in the cryo. Hmm. Good job. Yeah, it's Ryder. a good thing we designed it to, to vent all that electricity onto the main deck here. And now we know how to use the scanner. Are you a Cylon? Hmm. I got my eye on you. <sighs> that was close. Okay? Barely in an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. Yeah, we're not very good at this, are we? I'm not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Yeah, who the hell is flying this thing? Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Yeah, I find it hard to believe there's a protocol for this bullshit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. Just want you to know that I support your sudden but inevitable coup attempt, Pops. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. You mean the planet with the giant crater in the center? All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. Yeah, how did our long-range scans miss this? It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. 
The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. I guess you can't scan ahead of yourself if you're traveling faster than light. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. 2,800 and we still haven't and figured out renewable not. power yet. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. This whole ship is running on Cheetos. It'll last for centuries. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the yes. team should be awake by now. Take a Have team of ten and explore the entire planet. 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 Make it quick. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Yes. We will need the Pathfinders more than ever if there's no planet to Pathfind. Makes sense. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? Future POV blood. character in our sister. She beat it me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Take that, bitch. Well, don't worry. Hope she I'm dies sure Sarah in there. will pull through. <laughs> when she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The we what? Need a... It's an old superstition of your dad's. We need a helmet? For space exploration? What? Sorry, I just can't under... Look at this jaw. Can't understand the concept of putting this behind a mask. I never used to do that in the old sci-fi shows. Mass Effect and Andromeda, a terrible game. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in Andromeda's initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges, chief among which, space